What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Knock and Stock channel. I'm Derek, your host for this evening. Got a couple big announcements that you guys know here in just a second. But well, the reason we're here is we are light. <laughs> we're gonna be checking out. Well, we're we're gonna go back in time about a year. Uh, last year we did a video on preserving velvet by freezing method. Uh, see if it works. So this is that video. This is a, a year later. We're gonna see how it looks. Here we are. He's up on my kids wall right now. Get a couple good angles for you guys. What do you guys think? So I am not seeing a whole lot in here at all. So I'm pretty sure we have to go back and look at the video, and I don't have it on file anymore, guys. At least, I don't think I do. I can go look, but I doubt it. Pretty sure that was there before. You can kind of see where it looks like the blood thawed. And maybe it came out a little bit. I don't know if that was before I did this to it. Do you guys remember this head, right? <clears throat> Dog got to it after we bowled it out. Wait for it to dry. But anyway, you can guys go watch that video. I'll leave the description in the below. But I am not. I'm not seeing anything really. Let's try and pull some of this out. Oh yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So it does. Oh, did you guys see that? There you go. That came off. Well, I don't want to damage it too much, guys, but. The velvet will come out. <laughs> so, freezing method, did it work? Kinda. Um, you know what, let's, uh, let's go look at another head real quick. Okay guys, so this head, I killed this buck uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I, don't have, I don't have the film on him. He's a nice buck, uh, I don't think I've showed you guys. He's on Instagram if you guys follow us on Instagram. If you don't, I suggest you do. But he has been shot with formaldehyde. Um, I had a guy do it for me when I killed him. Uh, and he did the mount for me. He did a great job. So, as for the velvet... Yeah. I'll try a couple different spots, but it's not coming out when I... When I pull on it. Uh, it's not coming out guys, so I don't know. Maybe it was just a rough patch I grabbed. <clears throat> I don't know, what do you guys think? So, this buck, I killed him week three of the bow hunt here in Utah. So his velvet might have been starting to stri or uh, go just a little bit. Um, I don't know. He would have been close. To, he might have been real close to rubbing. That buck over there, the one that we freezed, he, I killed him the first day I was down there by mistake. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch that one too. I shot, long story short, I shot the wrong deer. Either way, that velvet was early in the season. Okay? So I'm thinking the freeze technique works degree but as for this deer freezing velvet um, you know I'm gonna have to say yes it works you just can't be rough with it but honestly you know who who's taking heads like off their wall to rub on or 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 pass around or whatever I think if you are I think if you're intending on just leaving the head on the wall in the velvet you're probably all right. The only other bad part is freezer space. They take up a lot of freezer space. Horns do. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Now that we got that done. 
now that he's done, I uh, thought I'd let you guys know Knock Suck finally has an online store where you can get shirts, um, shirts, hoodies. Uh, I even played around and made a mug. <laughs> get a Knock and Stock mug if you want. I don't really don't have one yet, but I might buy one. Um, so I was able to just leak. So I don't have, I don't do this full time, guys. I'm. I'm not one of those guys that does YouTube hunting all the time, okay? Uh, I have a job. Uh, this is really a hobby. Uh, I enjoy it. I love it. I love taking you guys with me when I go and, and do the stuff I love to do. Um, but I get people ask me all the time, like, hey, where can I get a hat? Where can I get a shirt? And and honestly, it's... I can't, <laughs> I can't afford just to like stockpile inventory on shirts and hats like some of these big YouTuber guys can. So I went through a company and they make my stuff and they ship it to you guys. Uh, I upload things that I design on their website. It goes through my store and then it goes to you guys. Um, I don't make, I'll be completely honest with you, I don't make any money at all. None. Uh, some things are shipping a little bit more than others, but as for like... What I make, nothing. I lower my prices as low as I possibly can, so you guys can get some of some of my stuff and support my and support my YouTube channel, and that's it. Uh, so all the money that you spend on this stuff, it goes right to them, and I'm grateful you guys just want to wear my logo, so and my stuff. I, I appreciate that. And if if anybody wants to buy some stuff, uh, I'd, I'd love it. I'll give you definitely a shout out. Uh, I might even send you some free decals for fun, um, but yeah, we're pretty excited about that. You know, we're moving along. We're getting uh, we're getting some good fan base, uh, and I really appreciate everybody who wants to see me miss most of the time. But uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody who uh, tunes in to watch Knock and Stock. And I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. Life's been kind of busy. Um, a lot of stuff going on right now. And hunting, hunting season is kind of over. Uh, except for coyotes, obviously. And I haven't got out yet. And ice fishing is around the corner. So that'll be fun. So we'll get you some video here soon. Hopefully a coyote hunt. At least one. I'm dying to go. So, anyways. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. And we'll see you next time.